One thing, so Cuomo's out, Andrew Cuomo, uh, the governor, is now done. Uh, it was So here's just one paragraph that I read that I think, without, of course, knowing exactly or even, even the whole litany of complaints, I thought that this in and it of itself was interesting. Cuomo 63 has consistently denied all of the most serious allegations like groping and, as he did on Tuesday, called other accusations generational misunderstandings. He said that the allegations were a result in part of a touchy-feely Italian heritage that included kissing on the cheeks and outward displays of affection that he never intended to be sexual in nature. In my mind, I didn't cross the line with anyone, but I didn't realize the extent to which the lines had been redrawn, he said. Hmm. So let's, just as a thought experiment, and this is not to claim this is the case, say that he didn't actually reach under someone's dress, grope them, grab some, fondle someone's breast, which are accusations that are currently out there against hmm. him. Um, if we were to take him at his word, which is not reality, it's. I thought that the most interesting part of everything that I read is I didn't realize the extent to which the lines had been redrawn. And he chose the word had instead of have, which is like the lines were redrawn in the past tense. But I really think what we're experiencing is that like the lines of, uh, th that he's talking about in terms of what is uh, – acceptable for that generation oh, i don't know when they were redrawn but clearly everyone in that generation is like scratching their heads <laughs> it seems tremendously confused i don't know that there's any politicians that are uh there's a handful probably but that are over 50 60 years old that are not really terrified right now given the types of shit that it seems like likely went down we think of jfk you know like is there any chance that he didn't grope someone that that was unwilling. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's, that's a, I don't think that's a plausible reality. Like the fact that he is, um, and he's just in the sixties and then you move forward to the seventies. Biden's got accusations. Trump obviously has tons of accusations. Well, the accusations don't line up just to be clear. All of these people, the accusations don't end at, he kissed me on the cheek. No, no, no. They go even further. So yeah. So like, for instance, Biden has some photos where he, kisses people on the cheek and people go, yeah, well that is a difference of age and timing, but he also has accusations where he's sexually assaulting people. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone's been canceled for just an age misunderstanding. Now maybe what's happening is they what are was just the Al Franken one. What was, the, can we Google that real quick? I, th I don't know what Al Franken did. I have to, so go ahead. I don't want to, no, I'm people. just saying, I think, Either the, accusation, it, either the accusations are lies or the behavior is inappropriate, is all I'm saying, for mm -hmm. Cuomo, Biden, Trump. You have to pick one or the other. You have to either say, I don't believe this person, or you have to say, they crossed the line. Because I haven't seen anyone who's gotten canceled because they kiss someone on the cheek when they say hello. Got it. And so what you're saying is that's just where he's, he's comfortable because he thinks that he can be what could be forgiven is a generational misunderstanding. Or people are lying. I'm not saying people aren't yeah. lying. I'm just saying Andrew Cuomo didn't get canceled because he's Italian and he likes to hug people and kiss them on the forehead when he says hello to them he in the office. He got canceled because people don't believe what he's saying. They don't believe his yeah. defense. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. No one came out and said, oh, yeah, this guy made me uncomfortable because every Friday he'd kiss me on the forehead and say, have a good weekend. He <laughs> said he grabbed me on the vagina. <laughs> you know, so so I think it's just either, well, you, either you believe him or you believe them. Mm -hmm. But he's defending a line that's not why he got in trouble. Well... Some of, again, it's 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 tough because we talked about this with Brian Callen. What happens is in many of these cases is that, is that some percentage, left, less than 50% of allegations against someone in these cases will be like severe criminal allegations mm -hmm. of, of assault. And then above 50% of them will be things that are inappropriate, not criminal, sure. and sort of and hint at, at a different pattern of behavior. Yeah, those are used to pile on for, for <laughs> character judgments to be created but they're ultimately not the behavior that gets people in trouble mm -hmm. interesting okay I, I i buy that i think that that's that that's a fair read um so you're saying which is if there were on any particular politician 15 accusations of um cheek kisses cheek kisses that were that never went beyond cheek kisses yeah. that person while totally fine but there would be accusations they would have to deal with a social media shitstorm, still potentially. For cheek kisses. Yeah. They'd be fine. Okay. They wouldn't have to step down. Got it. All right.
Hope that you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to see more like this and have us do more podcasts, we are 100% funded by our generous patrons. And if you'd like to contribute, there's a link in the description and we'll have one pop up on the screen right here so that we can do more podcasts where we have fun conversations and hopefully some deep ones like this. Either way, hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.